What are you doing to Dad? What? I'm going to the grocery store. Okay, you remember Memento? That. Don't forget the cucumbers, Peter. All right, where's that? Oh, hey, you're right, because of that thing we started doing. By the way, speaking of which, best O ever. I felt dirty for an hour, but it's gone now. Now I just can't wait for night. Fast cars, product placement, racial ambiguity, and family. Where's eight? Didn't that one just come out? Someone said they were going to get me eight on Blu-ray for my birthday, and someone got me a limited edition Michael Kors pebbled leather tote bag instead. You love that bag. I know, you're the best. Okay, put in fast six. You're starting with six? Um, yeah. He looks like a Chinese black. Like Africa and Asia had sex while Europe sat on a chair in the corner of the hotel room and watched. Ludicrous, human peanut. Tyrese, Chinese black. Are you going to keep talking like this during the whole thing? What? I'm answering Rupert's questions. Now we're going to have to rewind. We just missed the scene where half the team steals a tank while the other half pretends to be a DJ for some reason. Damn it! Yeah, okay, I'm going to the bar. Booberry? The Booberry? Are there imposter Booberries? Hey, watch it! Oh, Mr. Booberry, I'm your biggest fan! You're not the one threatening me on Facebook, are you? No, 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 not, not you. Not you. Hey, you know what I always loved about your cereal? It tasted like blueberries. Oh my god, blueberries! And you're and you're a ghost! The treatment didn't give me powers, but it did spread cancer to my anus. Just call me anus of the morning. Anus. Just touch my cheek before you leave me. Anus. This violence juxtaposed to music. Anus. Don't go to bed angry. Don't go to bed angry. Diffuse. Diffuse. Rupert, I'm sorry. I overreacted. Now you say you're sorry. What do you mean, for what? I hate you! Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I love you. I value you. We're not escalating. It's fine. I'll see you in the morning. No! Rupert! Rupert! Hi, this is Vin Diesel. Oh man, did your friend kill your other friend? That's betrayal. That's not strong. If you were driving drunk and ran him over, would you still go to jail? Yes, you killed him! Let me make it up to you, please. How about you kill something I love? How about I do that? Whoa, 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 okay. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's fair. No, I, I meant like, like, like my favorite tennis ball. You're comparing Rupert to a tennis ball? What is wrong with you? No wonder you two never got along. He always knew- Why are you brushing your teeth with your left hand? Can't risk the right getting wet, Lois. Booberry touched it, and it is now a sacred space, like a temple. Okay, well, I'm gonna have middle-aged woman boobs falling off to the side sleep now. <laughs> Hey, Chris, have you seen... I feel bonita. I feel bonita. <laughs> Wonderful, because you look bonita. Gracias, cariña. Puedes recogerlo el miércoles. Pablo is gonna lose his mind. I can hear- oh. He was my best friend! I'm supposed to be your best friend! Well, you're not! You're a bloodthirsty, cold-hearted murderer! Fine! You're right! You know what? It wasn't an accident! I knew he wasn't a chew toy! I was sick of you talking to him all the time! I was sick of you complaining to him about me when I'm right there in the room! And I was sick of always playing second fiddle to that bear! He's not- Rupert! Well- Oh, there you are. Stewie, you're hurt. It's just my ankle. It's not a big deal. It's already swelling up. Just let me... Back off! I'm doing this on my own. For Rupert. <sighs> Damn it, Stewie. Just... Just sit there, will ya? I'll, I'll get us up. Hey, guys. What the hell is that? My booberry hand. 
I swore I'd never wash it again, even though Lois keeps telling me to. You should listen to her. Yeah, Peter, that's disgusting. Oh, yeah? Take that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that started happening yet. You so much. How? How? You saw me spend almost every single minute of every single day with Rupert since I was born. And you don't... Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Another hiker going by. One of us is going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to put in the elevator, right? <laughs> I loved Rupert! He was the most important thing in my life! And you willfully violated the sanctity and... And people are gonna be like, oh, nice suit. And I'm gonna be like, why are you talking about my awesome $2,000 suit? My friend's dead! Feels like that story is less about me and more about your suit. Go to hell! Besides, if you don't believe Rupert was real, why are you so jealous of him? Why does it bother you how upset I am? That... is a very good point. Damn right it is, you joyless fake wisdom spouting... Count Chocula! That's right. Silly rabbit, Count Chocula tastes great! Oh, it's an honor to meet you, sir. Ah! What's happening? We got you, Peter. Yeah, there's a golf ball scrubber in there. Just relax and let it happen. No! No! My miraculous tiny life forms! Well, Rupert, we made it. It's beautiful up here. So, should... Should we just... Sprinkle him around randomly, or...? Oh, don't be a savage, Brian. What is your problem? We have to have the ceremony first. Dearest Rupert, we're here. I never wanted this to happen. He was always there whenever Stewie needed him. He was understanding. He always listened. He made Stewie a better person. Stewie and I are both incredibly grateful for all the time we had with you, and... We wouldn't change a single moment, except the end. Sorry about that. Outweigh the band. I thought we'd get to see forever, but forever's gone away. It's so hard to say goodbye. Is going. <laughs> Send in, Stewie, please. Oh, I can go in now? Oh, fantastic. He's ready. Marvelous. Thank you, Barbara. I hope you get those Adele tickets. You deserve them. She won't get them. No way. She needed to get them like a month ago. So, um... Oh, don't act like you don't know who she is. Please, that doesn't impress me. We live in the world. We all know who Bethany Frankel is, whether we like it or not. You know, I actually don't mind her. And she's built quite a business for herself. You have to hand it to her. I don't mean to name drop, but I kind of know Andy Cohen. I guess I'm his type. Which, of course, is very flattering. He's outrageously so Oh, look, you got your Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I don't know why those cups always depress me. It's, it's, it's like you've already given up before the day's even started. You might as well tattoo can't afford Starbucks on your forehead. What do I care, though? None of my business. I haven't heard of any of the schools you went to, but I'm sure they were great. What is it you'd like me to say, Stewie? That I have a British accent. I apologize, but I can't hear it. You mean to tell me you don't hear me speaking with a British accent right now? No. That's odd, because everybody else does. Have you spent much time in Britain, then? No, I haven't. Excuse me? I said no! But you're the absolute only person who hasn't noticed it. You do feel you know me a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, all right. Well, that's, that, that's, that's fair. Might I? I'm not sure how this is going to help. Indulge me. Thank you. I see you're on vacation in Rio de Janeiro in this photo with your partner, I'm guessing? Or is he your husband? With a sonnet or monologue each day. And no one had ever done anything so romantic as reciting Shakespeare for Michael before. And he was smitten. 
while not as physically attracted to you as you are to him, that's okay. You each bring something important to the relationship. Isn't that what you believe, Dr. Pritchfield? I see a prescription for heart medication on that table. And you over the years. Michael likes to travel, and he prefers the finer things, and you'd like to give them to him, wouldn't you? But it's a bit difficult on a child psychologist's salary at a Rhode Island preschool, I'd imagine. Fortunately, you don't have children, so you do have some disposable income. Oh, you have talked about it with other couples, just for show. Probably at dinner with younger friends of Michael's who are starting a family summer vacation, which is in fact winter in Rio, outside of the high tourist season. And I see that you're on the rooftop pool deck at the Fasano Hotel in Ipanema, the most exclusive hotel in all of Brazil. Michael would have been dying to stay there. He had a friend that went with his older boyfriend, who makes a lot of money in most likely banking, much to your chagrin. But even in August, it's almost a thousand dollars. Most people never get to visit half the places he's seen, you tell him. You can't help but feel like a bit of a failure as you see the look of disappointment on his face as he enters the room. So you decide to go to the Fasano Hotel for dinner and drinks. No, just drinks. Once you've seen the restaurant prices online. And once there, you can see how Michael begins looking at all the older men who can afford to take their boyfriends. I'm sorry, husband. Everybody here. So Michael calls over a young man wearing a tiny swimsuit to take the photo and makes a crude joke that embarrasses you, but the young man laughs. And he and Michael share a moment that you're not part of and you feel humiliated and unseen. Which explains Michael's joyful grin and your slightly disconnected half-smile. And you've posted the photo on Facebook, and Michael's posted it to his 86 followers on Instagram. Uh, you can see inside my soul! Oh, God! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Oh, God! Oh, God! It seems like you're keeping a lot bottled up inside. I am. Nobody here likes me, Dr. Pritchfield. I try to fit in with the other boys and talk about things like dirt and shapes, but they won't play with me, and I, I don't have any friends, and, and I have nobody to eat lunch with. It's very interesting you'd say that you have no friends, Stewie. Uh, look, Dr. Pritchfield, Cecil, if I may. It's pronounced Cecil. Damn it! But again, how would you know? It's not as if you're... Okay, okay, we got it. I only push Tyler down the stairs because I like him and I'm afraid he won't like me back. And, and not like him, like him. I'm not gay. This whole thing isn't because I'm gay, so, so calm down. I can already see you licking your chops. Okay, it just sounded strange for a second. It must be difficult for you, Stewie, being so intelligent. It is. Oh, just that, just that acknowledgement. You know, sometimes I don't know where I fit in. I, I just, I, I just want to be like everybody else, but nobody's interested in the things that I'm interested in. It's hard to find someone who can converse on one of those topics, let alone both. And I really, really, really want to see Hamilton, but by the time it gets here, I'll be 30. I think I'm still the only one in town who's even <laughs> heard of it, and it's been out for over two years, which just makes me even more <laughs> depressed. How do you live in a place like that? Cohog. What a pile of garbage. <sighs> How does a bastard, orphan, son of a whore and a Scotsman dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean by providence impoverished in squalor grow up to be a hero and a scholar? The ten dollar founding father without a father got a lot farther by working a lot. Well, the word got around, and they said, this kid is insane, man. Took up a collection just to send him to the mainland. <gasps> Get your education. Don't forget from whence you came, and the world's gonna know your name. What's your name, man? Alexander Hamilton. We don't have that at our house. My mother boils water in an old Jiffy Pop tin. She's just a useless old slut. Hey, my hiccups are gone. If you like Tyler and you wanted to be friends with him, then why did you push him down the stairs? Oh, I... I don't know. Can I tell you a story about another little boy? Um... And neither was father. You see, I was the sole survivor of my family. So I was sent to live with an aunt in Cornwall. But she had too many mouths of her own to feed, so... I was next sent to a distant cousin in Northumberland. But she didn't care for children. And off again I went, this time to an orphanage in Gloucestershire. You have to pretend that you're something you're not. Oh, and also, how my first kiss was with a Nazi.
See, we didn't need to go back a thousand years for that. And I don't pretend I'm something I'm not. I never said that. You just said it. I might have implied it. I suppose the question is, why you feel the need to do that? I, I don't know. I, I guess constructed persona designed to keep people at arm's length. This isn't even how I really talk. This is. This is how I talk. The accent is nothing more than an affectation. A coat of armor to get me through the day. Just an image I cultivated so I could feel special. <sighs> wow. What a relief. For once, to, like a weight has been lifted. I, I can finally be myself. I like this Stewie. I hope he stays for a while. I, I've never been vulnerable to anyone before. You're the only one who's ever met the real me. Well, I'm honored, and now the rest of the world is going to meet him. Yes. Yes, that's right. There's no going back now. I'm special. Oh, God, what was I thinking? I'm never going to lift the veil. Ever. Nobody will ever know the real me. My accent's back, by the way. It was a very dramatic moment. If you say so. Now, let's talk about... <coughs> Stewie. I guess that's what happens in therapy, though. Oh, it's not. Ah, you're right. That didn't make much sense. Not to sound ghoulish, but any indication how much longer you're going to linger? I'm not sure. I think it's different for everyone. Yeah, because you're still pretty chatty is, is why I'm wondering. Don't do this, Stewie. It will stay with you forever. Mm, yeah, not worried. For <laughs> Macbeth? Romeo and Juliet. But I wouldn't expect you to know, since you're not in any way. British. Hey, Bri? Yeah? Would you mind maybe sleeping with me tonight? Sure. Thanks. Good night, Stewie. Night, Brian. Brian? Yeah? I did something awful. Do you want to talk about it? 